two of those. Daryl Varner doesn't mind the long hours. You gotta get it just right, I don't wanna scan. Or helping his customers at Cops and Phillips. <laughs> but now his customers, co-workers, and strangers are turning around to help Daryl when he really needs it. You just heard my story and she said, I want to help you. When Daryl was 18 years old, he worked in a factory in North Chicago. Yeah, it. it was there that chemicals damaged Daryl's kidneys and caused him to go into renal failure by the age of 19. At the age of 31, I then ended up on dialysis. And my father came in the room and took a look at me and he said, no son of mine is going to live like that. Daryl's dad, Danny, was a match and three months later donated his kidney to his son. Fast forward more than 30 years, that piece of his dad is now functioning at the age of a 90-year-old, meaning Daryl needs another transplant. It's still um, working. It's down to 14 percent, though. The wait can be anywhere from two years to eight years. Okay, we'll go back up here again. When people around Philip saw the posters he and his co-workers put up at Cops for help or just heard about Daryl's need, they decided to step in and give back to this man who always gives them a smile and a laugh. <laughs> I just felt like I needed to. Michelle Cress has known Daryl for seven years. She's one of five people who stepped forward to see if they were a match. I don't really have a reason. I've had a good life and I thought if I could help somebody, I would. While Chris Roloff only met Daryl five months ago. Um, and then I just happened to read the the posters at the store. I'm like, sweet, you know, it's like the golden rule, you know, of, you know, do unto others how you want to have done to you or just, you know, paint it forward. The little things you can do to help out another person. The support has been overwhelming. It's kind of emotional, uh, I have to say. In the best way possible, knowing the kindness of friends and strangers can help one life for the better. It just reaffirms my feeling about humanity. It um, really shows what people are made of, you know, they're, yeah. We're covering the news in Phillips. Mary O'Connell, Newswatch 12. <laughs> I guess. <laughs>